Hi, in this short video, I'm going to introduce the new functionality of optimize year end close that accelerates the year end close processing. I am Mohammed Amir. I'm a senior product manager at Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance team. Let's start from year end close from the accounting perspective. The year end close is closing the books of the current year and move its balances to the next year. Here we need to remark the difference between balance sheet accounts and P&L accounts. The balances of balance sheet accounts are moved to the next year as opening balances. The balances of the balance sheet accounts are accumulated during the lifetime of the company. The balances of P&L accounts are moved to retained earnings account in the balance sheet. The balances of P&L accounts are reset to zero each year. And of course, the balances are rolled up in the return earning uh, account. The year end close in Dynamics 365 Finance is executed by identifying legal entity, fiscal year that to be closed. Then the system creates batch jobs and tasks for each legal entity. Then run the closing logic to move the balances as we discussed earlier. This process is executed on Dynamics 365 finance resources. With the optimized year end close, the year end close execution process runs on the microservice. So what are the elements of the optimized year end close? We have the optimized year end close service on LCS project that need to be installed. Then we have the optimized year end close feature management on the 365 finance that need to be enabled. So how it works when you run the year end close process, the system checks if the optimized year end close service is installed and the feature management is enabled. If those conditions are not met, the year end close execution will be executed as the current design as of today. If those conditions are met, the year end close execution will be executed on service and Dynamics 365 Finance will remain listening to the service and update the year end close results till the service completes the processing. With optimize year end close feature, there are two fields in the year end close page have been introduced. The fields are results and status. The view results shows the year end close results in sequence, starting from creating year end close job, preparing to process year end close job, and so on till completed. In addition to that, we have introduced the transfer balance sheet financial dimensions on the year end close template. This gives you ability to control the financial dimensions transfer for balance sheet accounts per dimension. This is as same as of what we have today for P&L accounts. So assuming we have balance on the BT Cash account with the following financial dimensions, business unit as management consulting, department as sales and marketing, service line as application development. The balance sheet financial dimensions on the year end close template as follows. Business unit, close all, department, close single, and we did not define any financial dimension value. And for service line, we have closing single and defined systems integration. The opening result after year end close on the PT Cash account is transferring 
business unit as management consulting because we have defined close all and the department is not transferred during the year in the close because we have defined department as closed single and did not define any financial dimension. And for service line, the system set the financial dimension as systems integration because we have defined the service line and the year in the close template as close all and defined explicitly the financial dimension. The optimized year in the close feature release is in application 10.0.31. If you are on 10.0.30 or 29, you can look for the latest quality update on LCS to get the optimized year in the close feature. And for the optimized year in the close service by December 1st, you can check for the service on LCS to install it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.